Yes, I think uh, uh, Latin America is uh, a great area of growth globally. There are a lot of emerging markets and despite some economic challenges that we see, we think it's going to continue to drive growth. And I think Colombia is uh, one key market for the industry and for, uh, for us. And we think it's a great place to be, to continue to drive uh, knowing the industry, meet uh, the different players and continue to drive growth. So clearly Colombia is a key area of growth for us and for the industry in Latin America. I think, uh, as I was saying uh, earlier in the presentation, uh, uh, the, uh, the, the new con consumers are driving demand for our uh, pressure sensitive industry, for the label demand. And we see the consumer uh, 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 purchasing power growing, and more importantly so in, uh, in the emerging markets. So in places like Latin America or, America or Colombia, there is only a few square meters, one or two square meters per capita of self-adhesive, as opposed to the mature markets with, where it's 10 to 13, 14. So we see a lot of opportunity, the new consumer class, to drive more adoption of the pressure sensitive zone. Yeah, it's, uh, it's very difficult to make a very precise prediction because the market and the economies are so volatile at the moment, but we think over the next three to five years, around 3%, and of course, we're we are trying to drive as much as we can growth and adoption to the pressure sensitivity, but I would say around 25 to 3%. Well, we, we are looking at, uh, at, at square meters, so I would say Latin America represents about 8% of the global demand and we estimate somewhere between 1.2 to 1.4 billion square meters in Latin America, which is again roughly 8% of the global demand. Not a lot, I think. I think these are two different decoration technologies and they will both continue to grow. I think people are moving away from uh, the wet glue applications and depending on uh, what they are looking in terms of uh, shelf appeal, either they move to shrink sleeve or to pressure sensitive and both technologies continue to grow and uh, we don't see any threat of that. I think it's uh, two different decoration purposes and they will continue to grow. Yeah, I think uh, places like uh, wine and spirits, this is, uh, this is well uh, present, I think, as an industry in Latin America. So there are a lot of opportunities for self-appeal and differentiation. But also uh, food, is an, it's, it's an area, as we are seeing more and more packaging in the food applications, there are certain sub-segments of the food that uh, pressure sensitive will drive more uh, brand awareness and a lot of international companies will go for that. So, so these are the key areas. Yes, I would say it's uh, uh, on one hand uh, in uh, segments uh, where uh, uh cost is the key driver. There we're driving, uh, we see uh, cost and productivity being very important, so driving for thinner materials for less waste. And then there are some other segments like the durable segment or home care, personal care, where uh, uh, people would like to have flexibility of new ideas, more technical materials, and uh, around uh, safety, like in the durable market, less flammable materials. So. There are different needs depending on the segment, but clearly innovation is going to be key to continue to accelerate the growth and at the same time drive productivity higher. Mm -hmm. Yes, for sure. Uh, I'm, if we are seeing at the growth, uh, the digital printing is growing around 30%. And <clears throat> As we were explaining, explaining earlier, uh, two out of three presses uh, by 2020 are going to be uh, people that they are going to invest. It's going to be digital and not analog anymore. So, so clearly it's going to be a winning technology for the future.
Absolutely, we're not only preparing, but we're leading. So we're working very closely with industry partners across the value chain and defining exactly the right materials to be printable with the latest inks and digital technologies. Yeah, I would say it's, uh, of course, uh, very consistent quality, uh, uh, price sensitive, so to be cost efficient, and at the same time it's uh, uh, security of supply and help them to differentiate uh, with new ideas and new products for, uh, for the future applications. So, so great quality, consistency of supply and new ideas for differentiation.